gents happy monday this is going to be a strong phenomenal great week i can feel it in the atmosphere so i just want to say shout out to you guys for holding it down throughout the weekend um you know i, I typically try to be very limited during the weekend i think it's my time to after going so hard monday through friday it's kind of my time to just mentally reset and then get ready again for monday through friday but I see a lot of people in the community. You guys hold it down during the weekends. I, I pop in here and there. And um, this is truly a global 24-7 community that is happening and forming around ENS. And it's hard to miss this boat. So I have a couple things pinned to the top. I think there's a lot of good and interesting things that happened this weekend and um, or just this just, just past couple of days that I kind of want to go over. And then we'll kind of open up the panel to um, some speakers and, and anybody else who wants to come up stage and share any thoughts, comments, anxieties, frustrations, whatever it may be. Um, first off, I want to start out on a very positive note. For a while, for a very long time, we've been saying, hey, you know, the potential of this space is we want a thousand people in here. Well, the very first tweet I pinned, I believe that was our Friday space. If you look at it, we actually had 13,000 people tune into that space that shows you that we are growing and we are we are getting to where we want to be over 13,000 people listened and tuned in into our friday space so that is great news for for the brand that we're building at ens updates that is great news for for the community because it shows it shows we're growing and people want to hear what we have to say and um that makes me extremely proud the next goal now is having a thousand 
in uh in the space at once right uh next next uh Cyber Kongs, uh, which is the NFT project. I don't own any Kongs or anything of that nature, but I know they were a little bit more popular back in, um, what was that, 20, 2021. But anyway, the reason I bring them up is because they have began to uniquely implement subdomains within their project where they're actually, I think they have their own coin or whatever, and they're actually going to be, um, you know, charging members for the, the length of the subdomains that they have. So their their base domains is Kongs.eth. And if it's a one, two, three, four, five character, whatever it is, within their own coin within their project, they're going to be, hey, if you want a if you want a one character dot Kongs domain, it's gonna be two hundred bananas or whatever it is. I pinned it to the top, they made an announcement in their Discord and I thought I think I thought that was pretty unique. I thought that was pretty cool because it shows that we haven't even begin to get started of how subdomains will be used the different use cases for subdomains how each project is going to utilize these things a bit differently and um master said it all the time right he until doodles and board Ape yacht club and so forth and so on begin to use subdomains we haven't even scratched the surface yet and we and we just seen kongs the kongs um how they're going to implement it in their own unique way which is is bullish for all of vns it's bullish for all of vns in that sense um next thing i want to bring up here is the the ether things dow just swept 45 digit ens right we, we talked about this all the time dows are coming in uh the big the bigger money is coming in and they have bigger pockets and they're going to sweep these things and they're ultimately going to take these things off the market for for who knows how long right i, I don't i don't think a dow will sweep and sell tomorrow right i think that they're, they're sweeping this thing as a longer term investment um they're looking to get a return on their investment and um, they, they went in and, and swept 45 digits. So to this day, I, I say this again, digits, in my opinion, remain the most liquid. Yes, the floor price has dropped, but uh, the sweeping hasn't stopped by no means. So that that's very excited news. You guys can go ahead and check them out if you want. Um, this is pinned to the top. Next, next, this has been the talk of the day. This has been uh, talk for the past two days where everybody's talking about Reddit. Everybody's talking about Reddit, and I just pinned um, an article or a thread to the top that actually breaks it down. And, and like, if you don't know what's going on with Reddit NFTs versus OpenSea or what's all the hype around, that thread right there is going to catch you up to speed almost instantly. It's a really good thread. I went through it <clears throat> and I pinned it. Now, I'm going to give my opinions on what I feel about this whole Reddit situation. One versus OpenSea. One, the first thing I want to say is ape responsibility. Don't be anybody's le exit liquidity because you, you're you just jumping and running into the next trend, right? Do your research. If you're going to buy and ape into anything, understand what you're buying and understand what you're aping into, right? That's that's number one. I think we're mature enough in this market to see trends and to understand trends and not to lose our money. That's number one. Number two, I absolutely love what Reddit is doing for several reasons. I've said on the show multiple times until the blockchain, NFTs, digital assets, digital collectibles, so forth and so on, is so easy that a fifth grader could do it with his eyes closed, we are nowhere near mass adoption. What Reddit has done is ultimately achieved that. They have achieved the sense of NFTs without anybody even knowing, noticing that they have crypto wallets, without, no, not, without having to buy Ethereum and transfer it and do all this other complicated things. It's simply, hey, this is a digital collectible avatar. Put your credit card information in, and now it's, now it's yours, and now you own it, right? So the, ultimately, they have gamed the system. And I'm not going to say gamed the system, but they have made it in a way where it's very easy to, to go in and purchase without even knowing, without doing all the complicated back-end stuff that we, as crypto natives, are accustomed to doing. The last thing I'll say about Reddit is that um, this is unique to their platform, right? This is extremely unique to their platform of what they're doing on Reddit. So this is not necessarily a, a something that's, that's yeah, you could, is an NFT, it's interchangeable, you could take it and you could put it in different wallets or whatever, but this is unique to Reddit. And I, and I expect multiple platforms to continue to follow that blueprint based off of their success and continue to create digital digital collectibles unique to their platform. 
Um, that's what I'm going to say about that. And last but not least, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors for a big sale. ENS Max had a three ETH sale this morning on the Cheetah. I pinned that up to the top. So that is huge news for the Maxis. Well, well deserved. Long time coming for that sale. But with that being said, if you guys haven't retweeted this room yet, go ahead and retweet the room. I feel like I did a lot of talking this first 10 minutes. But with that being said, let's go over to Master. Master, the stage is yours, brother. Hey, thanks much, Kev. Great work on the, you know, starting, you know, as always. And uh, good morning, guys. Uh, happy Monday. I think, uh, yeah, uh, right now it's, uh, you know, 11, uh, 11, 11 at my PM. And uh, we have 93 participants in this space. And I recall that at the very beginning of this space, you know, uh, by April, there was only like 30 or 40 guys. And I every single time while I was in here, I have to keep dragging down to see how many, you know, people totally here because there are four in a row, but uh, it did not have a calculation function at the beginning. So I don't know. So I keep counting, you know, four, eight, 12, 16. Okay, today is 64 or something. So it was very interesting. I see the growing of this uh, space. I see the growing of the community. And, uh, you know, especially right now, I don't think we are on a very high price on all the three digits or four digits digits but we all we still have so many believers here at here which is very amazing so yeah somebody says that you know block uh, domain investment is actually a very difficult one because if you choose the wrong prefix or either you choose the wrong suffix you you might never get that money back again Right, agreed. Because if you, if your word, you know, uh, the word or the digits you choose, maybe for digits you you will get some liquidity back. But if you choose the wrong word or or some wrong suffix, then yeah, it's it's not uh, comparing to buying a coin with liquidity that you can always sell in exchange, maybe at high price, maybe at low price. But domain is a very uh, particular, it's very special thing. But it's also very charming because you don't know by what time there will be a buyer showing up and he really like your name. That is something really interesting. That is something maybe will bring you 100 or even 1,000 X of your investment back. So yeah, we, we say we are like fishermen. We use nets to catch fish, but your net should be big enough sometime. But and another point is that we need to have always focus on the quality names. Don't... Net doesn't mean you just try to net all the shit names and there will be one because that is a that is just too much energy and time consuming from my perspective. So uh, also I'd like to share regarding you know the different suffix you know uh, when we choose the domains because uh, we see recently UD has announced something like uh, they are going to retrieve the 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 suffix dot coin. And because there's a collection, something. And uh, we know at the beginning, they didn't do the right thing because they kind of uh, claimed, declared that more, more than eight or 10 suffix of their own, just because there is no icon in blockchain world. So they are just like uh, occupying all the space and saying it's theirs. Then why don't you guys, you know, think, what if, uh, what if they announce dot is theirs as well, right? If you can, you can declare that, you know, uh, why not, you know, include uh, Dottie's? Because they, they are not. When they are colliding something with a famous project, the first thing they want to do is, they, they are actually very sensible. And uh, they, the first thing they want to do is, they, they want to avoid collection with any giant because otherwise uh, there will be hundreds of the wallets they are integrating found out that oh you 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 have problem so so that which will make an impact to the rest of the you know suffixes which is like a dot nft dot dao dot x dot eight 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 you see all, all the good things have been declared by them which means that doesn't make sense at all and another part for us to, to you know uh, differentiate different blockchain domain is uh, you know how they release the domain right because uh, like ENS in the past, we remember there was three phases. They uh, just released the domain very uh, cautiously. At the beginning, seven, seven character plus, they used an auction way. And then, uh, uh, but that, that was a deposit auction. Then three to six digits, 
you know, auction by 2019. And、uh, yeah, the higher the higher offer wins. And there's no news for one and two characters yet. But we believe, you know, we didn't see any names reserved for any corporation or any、uh, premium names reserved for any you know end to end point to point selling. Which looks like okay because there was only one phase by 2019 July that ENS published and announced that the the、uh, the welcome all the trademark owners to claim and there will be someone there will be a team there will be a committee to review all these claim of the name between three to six characters if you are the owner of these name for example you are the owner of Google you can go ahead and claim these name. And for free, and most importantly, not like、uh, unstoppable domains. They also, you know, have reserved. First of all, they reserved almost all the trademarks, all the common trademarks. They reserved, and I think they are doing a good thing. They are just,、uh, you know, reserved for the company owners to, to, you know, prove, prove their ownership of the, this brand, and then they will give the name to them. Tier until, you know, my friend, the、uh, lawyer friend, Ian S. Punk. Mentioned one time that、uh, when he was trying to declare his name to UD, UD reviewed and approved and said, "Yes, this is your name, but、uh, here's the price: one hundred k US dollar." What the hell, you know? This is、uh, crazy. So you, it, it it looks like they are reserved for a big, for for bigger, more ridiculous sales, and that doesn't make sense, right? So I think a good thing should be、uh, the transparency should be good. And it should be crystal clear to everyone what's the rule look like. But the more you know the hidden area, the more rug, the more likely the project is like a rug. That's my opinion. So I believe from in Ethereum there are a lot of different smart contracts because smart contract is is there's no it's no you know mystery thing. It's not no difficult thing. Everyone you are free you are free to do so. You are free.、Uh, everyone is free to create a smart contract of blockchain domain. To get your own suffix, you can do that. But the thing is that who will use it? Because you know, publishing blockchain domain is just like publishing you a new currency, publishing、uh, money, paper,、uh, notes, right? But、uh, you know, the problem is who will recognize your money? Who will accept your money? And the answer is how many browsers and wallets that、uh, you know they can type in these domains and associate. That is the only exit. Of these names, and if we don't, if we see one name service that doesn't have the support for, for example, more than fifty in you know, a wallet, then it's a rug. Unfortunately, don't buy it. Don't simply buy a domain just because the prefix looks good. If the suffix of this service cannot link to any wallet address, then it doesn't make sense, right? You buy an NFT, you can draw a picture, you can copy a Mona Lisa, but、uh, it's not the legit one. You know it. Don't simply buy the domain simply because、uh, you know the prefix looks good. It doesn't make sense. Just like some lady, very pretty, and she asks you out. No, she is not loving in love with you. Maybe she have some other purpose. Just the same case. So yeah, blockchain domain. I think、uh, in China, in Chinese, we say the water is very deep. It's a、uh, uh, lots of different people, different project team, and、uh, lo- especially right now, it's on. It's not only within Ethereum. There are different chains, like for Solana, like for Tezos, like for Binance. Yeah, I understand. I agree that、uh, yeah, different chain need, needs different、uh, naming service, which makes sense. But、uh, simply try not to hundred percent use speculation perspective onto it, because if a new domain project. They are not saying what where we can you know associate how many wallets support us and、uh, you know、uh, what is our cross chain technology. If they are not doing this, instead, if they are talk talking to you, look at、uh, ENS nine and nine club. The floor is thirty five. My price to you is only two, my friend, and、uh, blah blah something like that. You say I don't have two, then he will ask you back how much do you have. Then <laughs> no, this is rug project, right? We know it, you know it. Just don't pretend you don't see it. Just just don't pretend sleeping sometimes. And all the good project, all the good thing, you have to strike hard. You have to struggle. You have to fight for it. Something they are waiting for you to pick. Maybe not the best option. And、uh, yeah, because we are still very early in this market, I re- I really hope we as a community we don't do the wrong thing. Speculation is good. Myself, I have a lot of. A lot of names. I expect to sell them with、uh, more than one hundred, you know, interest, interest、uh, someday. But、uh, yeah, I, I also want to have a long-term vision and get less less distractions from other projects. 
just because you know as long as uh, right now ENS is very famous and lots of people from different communities from the coin community or the NFT community PFP community they know there's a 99 club and there's a miracle that in one week there's a nothing you can free to register right now you need to buy it with more than 30 years something like that so lots of people start thinking okay why don't I create something and use that as a commercial and try to get a rug or at least uh, earn some registration fee and then I can leave, right? Let them be there. So yeah, I, let's just try not to be the buyer of these projects because very likely I see a lot of friends keeps asking me questions. I say, don't buy it. He keeps asking me why. I try to explain something. He's still you know, kind of reluctant to leave because he really hope he can make that flip. He can make that 10x flip just because they are, they are very good, uh, you know, uh, in the in the speech when they go on some space or some WeChat talks, and you know, I, in China we also have a community. They did a dot NFT project. They, their slogan is "We will beat UD." Because I I agree, UD is some very bad, you know, idea. And I I agree, UD has no much value, but. Unfortunately, UD has already connected, integrated with more than 100 wallets. And if you are ta- you, you are simply, you know, getting a new, you know, uh, uh, .NFT, and if you cannot settle that 100 wallets, UD already nailed, then unfortunately, you won't get successful, right? I asked the guy, I asked the founder, what is your plan for .NFT? Uh, what is your plan to beat UD? He said, we will go to a lot of WeChat groups, we will get a lot of spaces, we will try to, you know, make the first flip and make the guy to buy my name, so make him flip easily. Uh, after I hear that, I know that's definitely the wrong answer. The right answer for any NFT project should be to integrate with more wallets and browsers. If he is not focusing on that area, unfortunately, I must leave as far as I can. That's from my perspective. So always do the smart thing. Always put a bet. You know, always make your bet the smart bet. Because all the money we earn originally is not easy, right? We kind of work for a job or we do some uh, uh, business. We earn the first money and we use that money to invest. So we always try to make our bet, make our working, you know, output, make it uh, valuable, make it, uh, you know, count. So just just, uh, don't try to put your bet too quick because I see a lot of people put your bet in the wrong way. They bought an ape on a very high price and right now they don't know what they need to do it. They say, should I sell it and buy some other digits, something like that? So yeah, when you're already in a very bad down, then your choice is not that much. But uh, uh, to be honest, right now, ENS is still early from my perspective because they are still so limited Web3, you know, the web projects. And to the VCs, especially recently, I'm approaching some VCs. Uh, to the VCs, the web is still new to them. I need to say a lot of things. The presentation needs to be more than 15 or 20 pages to, to, to let them know what the D-Web is about. For even some very you know, senior VCs, it will be, oh, interesting, but this is too much advanced, something like that, which means we are not there yet. yet. Just like .com, it's best selling time. It's not Y2K. It's not, a, it's not that time. It's another 10 years after this has been very mature and become the mainstream market. So, yeah, only one, you know, uh, only more, you know, uh, fresh money coming into the market will boost the market itself. And right now, because D-Web is not so, uh, you know, famous yet, because uh, Ethereum wallet numbers is just like this quantity. So we still need to wait a bit longer, maybe <laughs> maybe one year or two years for this number to boost. But we believe in crypto, this will be something different than the internet. Maybe internet, 10 years to achieve in crypto, one one year, or sometimes, uh, you know, six months, three months, we can achieve it. Nobody knows. But but before that, we need to make sure we pump our bags, we get our, you know, uh, chips all ready and put it there. And then and one, most important, uh, most, one more, most important thing to do is just uh, wait p- patiently till the best buyer, till the to the pers- perfect person to show up that uh, he wished to have a negotiation with us on some name that uh, is really very good names. I, we hope, I, I hope oh, this day for everyone in this space in the ENS community will come as soon as, as it can. 
and I don't think it will be far away. That's all I'm going to share with you guys. Thanks much. Have a great day. Thank you very much, Master. Appreciate it. The moral of the story here is, you know, focus on the suffix, not the prefix, a.k.a. focus on Dadi. It doesn't matter. Um, you could get a nice name with another, you know, name provider. So bombs for Master. Much appreciate that. I did get a DM um, about my comments on, on Reddit. I do want to clarify what, 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 what I was saying. Uh, about the Reddit situation. What I meant by, you know, those that Reddit NFTs is that Reddit created a system that was directly correlated to their platform. Yes, they are, they are real NFTs. They are, they're minted on the Polygon blockchain. You could change them. You could sell them. You could buy them on OpenSea. Yes. But what I was referring to is that that is a infrastructure system that Reddit created and designed for their platform to integrate with their platform to make their platform more more fun i guess uh more creative in the way that they, they that's the future of blockchain technology is what reddit is doing directly on their platform yes they're real nfts but how can we use the blockchain to benefit our platform and that's exactly what reddit is doing um they made a shit ton of money doing it um there it seems like the user experience has been great doing it they are a huge mega platform. We all heard about Reddit. You know, and what I mean by that is as compared to OpenSea, which is, you know, artists, majority of OpenSea is like artists and things of that nature, minting NFTs and then selling them on the OpenSea platform. Reddit NFTs were more so something they created for their platform. And I expect to see a lot more platforms do or follow the Reddit blueprint that we see uh, right before us. But um, cool. Bombs for Master, I do want to say this as well. If you have more than, let's pay some respects to our sponsors as well. Shout out to the ENS Maxis. Shout out to Crypto Slam. And uh, also shout out to Domain Plug. Domain Plug is the latest marketplace. And they're going to be releasing, uh, not releasing, they're going to be launching the uh, from beta mode sometime this week. So uh, stay tuned for that. But also, last but not least, if you have more than five ENS domains in your wallet, go ahead and give this room a retweet. That would be much appreciated. And we just added our co-host uh, NFT verse to the building. Verse, the stage is yours. GM, GM5159, uh, GM to the whole entire community. 5159, I appreciate you, as always, <clears throat> staying consistent, uh, having this show uh man uh we we had some we kind of took a walk down memory lane um early this morning in a space that uh novax was hosting and a uh, thread girl w was co-hosting just a uh they did like a little pop-up uh space it was earlier this morning and I, I popped in there uh with them and kind of hung out with them a little bit great space uh but but 5159 I, um appreciate you appreciate you as always, man, continue to keep doing what you're doing. Continue to keep uh, being consistent. And, uh, man, the, the fruits of your labor uh, will always uh, show up. Trust trust, and believe that. Um, so shout out to you. Uh, shout out to Master, uh, co-hosting. Uh, Master, of course, always dropping knowledge. Uh, really appreciate you being here. And I'll say this, I'll say this again um, because I've said it before. Um, you know, for, for the people who've been here for a while uh, and those who are new in here, uh, there's people that you have access to right now that you might not have access to later. So make sure you engage with those individuals. Uh, if you got a question for them or if you just want to kind of bounce something off of their big brain, uh, do it now because uh, as this space continues to move, we don't we can't predict what access we're going to have to a particular person that we've, uh, you know, seen in these spaces early on. So I would say while you have the time to do it, uh, definitely try to try to bounce things off of these uh, these individuals in here that are always participating and always sharing uh, so much great knowledge in here. Thanks again, Master, for uh, everything you do, Ron. I don't see Ron in here, but shout out to Ron. I see Gary P. What's up, Gary? Uh, Cola Labs in here, ENS Maxis. Shout out to ENS Maxis always, man, because uh, they stepped up uh, when uh, we were just kind of out here lonely on this island. We were lonely on the ENS island, and ENS Maxis drove by on a yacht, and they was just throwing out, like, sandwiches and caviar and 
like all kind of stuff. And and we scooped it up. And ENS Maxis, we appreciate you stepping up in the community and providing the capital uh, that that some of these uh, projects needed to keep building out uh, here. Keep building, man. You guys ignited in, ignited something for people to stay motivated and keep building. And uh, we appreciate you guys for that. Uh, ENS Punks out here. What's up, ENS Punks? That's my guy, man. Day one Day one ENS Punks. Uh, I see Flexter in here uh, under his um, other account. Looks like it. E-Money, Crypto Slam. Crypto Slam, thanks for stepping up. Also in here, man, um, providing a great tool out there, guys. You guys got to make sure you're tapping into them, man. We're early, guys. I mean, hopefully everybody that we see now, we'll see them later on. It, but they'll be bigger and they'll be better. Um, you know, prime example of that is ENS Vision, uh, zero zeros in here. Prime example of that. I mean, we were talking this morning how we remember when when zero zero used to be in the spaces and we used to just kind of talk about, man, what, you know, what are some some of the things that, you know, that, that can be done out here in this space to get more visibility and things like that. Meanwhile, zero zero is in his lab. He's in his lab, guys, with a white lab coat on, uh, like Dr. Frankenstein, you know, cooking up some who knows what in ENS dot vision, right? And they came, they came, man, and they came and they built a product, uh, Zimtente, Furion, and the whole entire crew. And they were always in here getting feedback from the community and continuing to build a product that was community based. Guys, I don't know how long Zero is going to be around here to be able to take questions and be able to, you know, check his DMs and stuff like that. You better get with him right now because we don't know how long he's going to be available to do that type of stuff. Because guess what? They're going to continue to grow. They're going to continue to grow, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure he'll always be here, but access is the key. Access to a person is key. So you can best bet I'm going to definitely have access to him. I can I can guarantee that. Um, but, you know, for the most part, guys, uh, I wanted to let you guys know. Um, good morning to the whole entire community. Can't leave the whole entire. Thanks for tapping in. This space wouldn't be with the space wouldn't be what it is today without the community coming together. And, and being here to to support one another and listen to one another and be able to learn from one another. This space will not be what it is today. Uh, so good morning to everybody who tapped in. Um, so one of the things I wanted to point out is that um, when I was on that uh, space with Thread Girl and Novak this morning, uh, Thread Girl is going to be putting together uh, a space called a walk down ENS memory lane, right? She's going to do a walk down ENS memory lane because there's some things that we have gone through early on in this space and things that we've talked about early on in this space that people, new people don't even know about. They have no clue. But I think it, it, it'll be awesome to have some of, uh, you know, the, the early people that were here in here. It seems like 10 years ago when, when you talk about memory lane, but it was only like a few months ago. It was years for Master and Gary P, of course, but for the most, for the majority of us, it was months ago, but it seemed like 10 years ago. So we're going to do a walk down memory lane and, and Thread, Thread Girl is going to go ahead and get that all set up. So uh, everybody, once she gets the time out there, please try to attend, man. We got some funny stories out there, man, that we can talk and share with the whole entire community about what was happening in here early on. So make sure you guys look out for that, man. But I appreciate everybody showing up. I don't have a, a lot to to touch on right now. Uh, I can't wait to engage in the conversation today. Um, shout out to everybody um, that's just showing up, man. Keep showing up. Uh, I appreciate you, Kev. I look forward to the conversation. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Verse, Verse had to fund, help fund his dreams. So it was all good, all good, Verse. Appreciate you showing up and um, – and being here, brother. Uh, let's go right over to my boy Flex with the new account. This is the Vine with Flexer. The Vine with Flexer. Uh, the stage is yours, brother. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Yes, um, this is what I want to talk about today, actually. And I'm super stoked that ENS Punks is on stage with us today. So I want to give a mad shout out to him and Gary Palmer Jr. Gary Palmer Jr., I want to give a mad shout out to you today. And I'd like you to 
to maybe, you know, keep uh, keep both earbuds in for this one, brother. Um, I'm under the Vine account. And how about, first of all, first of all, um, zero, zero, I know that you're sick and I hope you get better. Um, prayers going out to you, bro. Um, try to, you know, drink some hot fluids, get yourself better, get lots of rest, bro. Uh, we need you. So, um, the only way to get to him is through my 500, uh, DMS too. So NFT versus right access to zero is going to be cut off here pretty soon. So I've got 500 DMS a day going into him, even though he is sick, he is replying and stuff, but, um, let's, let's, uh, hope the zero zero gets better. Um, okay. So to, to the business punks and Gary guys, I have never in my life done anything wrong on Twitter. I don't use the F bomb. I don't use derogatory words. I don't, I don't talk bad about people. I don't do nothing. I've never been suspended in my life. I've never, I didn't even know what suspension was. I thought it was like Facebook jail is the only time I've ever heard of people getting like their accounts, you know, you know, I'm, I'm 50 years old, so I, I know what Facebook jail is, but I've never, ever known Twitter. I've only been on this crypto Twitter type stuff for about six months. And 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 we were in that space yesterday with Novax and Thread Girl, and they were sitting there trying to tell me it's because, you know, I'm tagging people too much or I'm doing this too much or I'm doing that too much or whatever. So I go to my email and in my email, I got an email from Twitter that says my account has been suspended because I am avoiding suspension. So can, can somebody punks, I see you cracking up at me punks. I know you're going to, I know you're going to go on your soapbox. I know punks, you're going to go on your soapbox here in a minute. But about these decentralized platforms, we need something. I don't know what's going on with Twitter, and I've never been suspended. I, I don't know what a suspension is, and that's why I'm here today. Um, thank God my digital identity is Flexter. Thank God you guys know my picture. NFT verse said, I see Flex over there. That's my digital identity. That's my PFP. That's something I'm learning about. You know what I mean? It's my first PFP project, ENS Maxis. So I'm kind of glad that I have that digital identity that you guys can see my PFP but my actual real account they're telling me that i've been suspended for avoiding suspension can somebody please i did do the appeal i sent an email back i did what i i, I know to do it's never happened to me before i can only kind of like follow the instructions but can we touch on this today and can somebody tell me what in the heck i did what do they mean by i got suspended for avoiding suspension um, that, that's my question for the day. So I don't know if Punks wants to go first or Verse has his hand up. Yeah, let me let me go. First of all, you sound like a social platform fugitive uh, that is running, trying to run and avoid the consequences that you need to pay right now. I don't know what they are, but it sounds like it to be that that you're running from somebody. Um, but but we'll we'll leave that alone. Stop using your social platform like a social platform, Flexter, stop doing it. I mean, it's just part of the this stuff that, you know, I, and like I said, for you, Flexer, you're new to Twitter. Um, there's there's rules around excessive things that, that they flag. Uh, and like I said, I, I know that you're very active on, on, um, on Twitter and uh, very involved. And I think that, you know, some of, maybe some of the, the tagging and, a lot of even even if you follow too many people uh, in one day, they will suspend you. Um, there's just so many rules around that, and and, and like you said, there's there's going to be at some point uh, that decentralized uh, you know platform uh, where people are going to want to uh, go over there. Uh, but again, you know, with any transition and any paradigm shift, uh, you know, it's not going to have as many people in the beginning. Um, as Twitter will, will hold, uh, you know, there's always going to be a giant uh, that you're going to be able to access and, and get more of your uh, message across to people. But I'll say this, man, you might just when you get your when your suspension is over with, when your parole is is clear, uh, then I would say just slow down a little bit, maybe on maybe tagging uh, too many and, and, and things like that, because that could have triggered that that flag at the Twitter offices. Um, but you know what, maybe that's a, maybe that's a beneficial flag that you got because then they got to see your PFP 
and saw that it was an ENS Maxi. So they was like, oh, let's play this. And, you know, anyway, but you know what I'm saying, Flex. So you just got to probably slow it down just a little bit. Punks, you want to you wanna chime in? Yeah, two things. Um, first, I, I mean, you, you sort of remind me of these criminal cases, right, where somebody gets charged for uh, resisting arrest. But then that's the only charge they got. You, you kind of like, well, what, what were they resisting? What were they originally being arrested for? Nothing. Well, how are they going to re- resist arrest when they weren't being arrested? You know, how's that the only charge? Uh, yeah, that's I, I cannot help you. I think you're doing the right thing talking to my man, Novax. Novax has 187 accounts, and each one of them has been suspended on a weekly basis. So he's got insight as much as anybody into uh, those particular matters. But um, I did pin something to the top. So uh, I've said it before, right? When it comes to, to suspensions, I actually feel guilty, and I'm a little embarrassed that I'm not suspended. I mean, look, if somebody like Flexer's getting suspended, I want to be suspended. You know, I want to be there arm in arm with my guy. And uh, you're not alone. You're in good company, right? Countless uh, accounts have been suspended. Bankless HQ was suspended back in um, May. And, you know, I, I penned a tweet to the top about it. So I told them, right, please use this as a learning lesson. Register an ENS domain. Make an ENS website for all your content. Only use social media to link to your ENS uh, content. Learn from history to avoid mistakes of the past. Big tech can and will rug you. I mean, Flexter, you know, it's like you're doing the right thing, right? You're not necessarily so focused on the problem, but the first thing you did was bring up the solution. And look, we are a community. We're talking about building all the time. It's time, right? It's time we get together as a group, as a community. There are some big brands in here. And let's start building the damn thing, right? We should have our own ENS decentralized social media platform. There's no reason we shouldn't. And, uh, you know, I know there's counter arguments like, well, you know, it's hard. It's, you know, you're going to be competing with Twitter, with Facebook, Instagram. I don't care. And, you know, the reality is you have something like that. Guess what? It's going to make onboarding the ENS that much easier, right? You want to get on our social media platform? Step one, get the wallet. Step two, get your ENS. And, uh, you know, that's just another tool for us. So, uh, yeah, you know, nothing but sympathy to you, uh, Flexter. You're just one more victim of big tech centralization. You know, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. And everybody should just be aware of it because if it happens to Bankless, if it happens to Flexster, if it happens to Novax 187 times, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time before it happens to us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I I think a lot of good points were were made there, and I I couldn't agree more. This whole idea of censorship and shutting down accounts and shutting down voices is is soon going to be a thing of the past, right? It's soon going to be a thing of the past. The blockchain is here. It's just a matter of time before the giga brains and the giga chads, you know, innovate and build on top of this tech. Doobie Dottie, if the stage is yours, welcome to ENS Updates. So can I talk? <laughs> Go ahead, Nino. Yeah, you work me. All right, so look. I'm going to be real with you 100% because that's what I got. But I love Flex. He's a great host. I love his spaces. I've been listening to him for, like, the last week constantly. Um, you know, Vert Space is dope. I'm loving the maxis. I'm loving the way the floor is rising. But as far as the discrepancy goes with Flex, okay, so with Twitter, I've had a lot of homies go through the same thing you're going through, just like Punk said. And nine times out of ten, somebody's reporting you. And I'm, I'm going to be 100. I, I heard some cringy, some cringy shit you said the other day. And I'm not going to, like, say it here. Maybe I'll DM you or whatever. I'm not that, that dude. I feel like you're all for the people, all for the maxis. You're here to support the community. So, yeah, man, I just think that might have been the reason that somebody could have flagged you. You know what I'm saying? But I, I feel like it, it is bullshit censorship. I feel like everybody should have freedom of speech and be able to say what they want to say. You know what I'm saying? Irregardless, it doesn't matter. Yeah, man, definitely DM me. Uh, let me know what you're talking about. Cool. Dubby, 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 put your hand up. Uh, the, sta- the stage is yours. What's up, everybody? How's everybody this morning? Pretty good, pretty good. I just got to chime in. I 
about missed you. I keep missing the updates. I hate missing them. But anyhow, I was going to touch on what Flex was saying. That, that's happened to me before. Like my original account, I got banned from like eight months ago just by like doing little free giveaways on coin market cap or whatever. I guess somebody, it offended somebody or something. I voided their Twitter's post, whatever they got. I don't know, something. Like you say, I had to appeal it and all that and got it unlocked and then it got locked and then it got banned. So it happens. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you for that. Let's go over to Stephen Miller. Steve, the stage is yours, brother. GM Kev versus Master and the whole fam. Good to see y'all on a Monday morning. Um, just want to let you know, Flex, Nino is probably spot the hell on. Um, unfortunately, all it takes these days is about 10 people to report you for some bullshit that they think is, you know, I guess worthy of report <clears throat> to get you actually suspended. So um, the reason that you stated that they emailed you for doesn't shed a hunt, any type of real light on what actually happened. But, yeah, I, I have a feeling that that may have been it. And it's because there are a lot of people, unfortunately, um, in the space that are just straight up adversarial. Um, and you just got to take that for what it is. It's a good thing that you've got the vine to fall back on. And I think, honestly, if there's one takeaway that everybody should have here is know that there's a chance that you could get rugged at any time, have a backup account. Let it let it straight up be a copy of what you have and protect yourself. Protect your neck, as they say. Um, I did want to give a quick shout out to anybody in the community that's um, rocking or owns a maxi NFT. Um, my little plug for the morning is this week on Friday in Austin, Texas, I will be hosting a little conference that I'm calling Agme. It's Austin's going to make it. It's a um, day conference in downtown Austin at a place called Speakeasy. We've got an entire ballroom rented out, ready to host six different panels of 18 speakers, and uh, would love to just invite anybody in the Maxis community to that. If you would like access to that conference, I'm comping tickets for anybody who owns a Maxi. Straight the fuck away. If you want to come to the conference, drop me a message. I'll get you a code to get you your free ticket. You can come join us. We're doing um, those six panels, as I said, until 4.30, and then we're hosting a happy hour from 4.30 to 6.00. So it'll all be on site in downtown Austin. If you're in the Austin, Texas area, come on out. Have a good time. Let's talk some ENS. Back to you, Kev. And that's the definition of community. Shout out to Stephen Miller. Um, if you own a Maxi, he's giving you free tickets if you're in the Austin area. Um, that doesn't go unnoticed, Stephen. That does not go unnoticed, brother. And in the meantime, I think this is a great segment to give a huge shout out to our sponsors, the ENS Maxi. They had a huge three E sell this morning. There are 10K ENS PFP collection. They're on stage right now. So if you're not following the Maxis, go ahead and give them a follow. Shout out to Crypto Slam. Crypto Slam is also with us on stage. They are the big lightning bulb. They are a data aggregation site, and they also have their own NFT marketplace called Dropping Now. And last but not least, shout out to Domain Plug. Domain Plug is an ENS marketplace um, that is releasing, going live officially sometime this week. So stay tuned for that. Let's go right over to the Vine with Flexer. The stage is yours, brother. Okay. I'm dying here. <laughs> I'm dying here. Because, um, first of all, I want to give a big, big shout out to the community. My, my, my DMs over at the Vine are blowing up. <clears throat> And the 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 one the the one that I'm going to take out of this, I'm I'm gonna blame the ENS Maxis. Why <laughs> I got banned? <laughs> okay, I think I know. I think I know why I got banned. I'm gonna blame the ENS Maxis. Okay, the ENS Maxis called Fuckboy. <laughs> so, okay, the, the ENS Max called Fuckboy. And apparently, you guys all know, you guys all know, like, like, my mom's mixed, my dad's, you know, whatever, like, so, so, and, and ENS Maxis have light skin, medium, and dark skin, and they have been going through, you know how I do my auctions over there on, you know, kind of shouting out the floor on Maxis and telling people which ones are good values and, and buys or whatever, I may black fuck boy. 
think that maybe somebody reported me for saying that. Because boy is it on dark skin, which is the trait. There's light, medium, and dark skin. I may have not said dark. I may have said black. So if that is for the reason I got suspended, I apologize to everybody in the world. I did not mean any offense by it. It is simply a trait on ENS Maxis, and it's spelled F-U-Q-B-O-I. And as a matter of fact, I think uh, Fat Forehead O greatly owns fuckboy.eth, spelled the correct uh, spelled the correct way. So either way, um, if anything, I think that's probably the most reasonable um, answer of all these DMs for why my account got suspended. I may have said, um, um, yeah, that. So I guess I'm not going to repeat ENS Maxi's fucking trait. Actually upsets me. Because my mom is mixed, so that's, I dox myself and my mama. Okay, my mama's in a lot of, so that actually fucking offends me personally. If somebody would have, if somebody would have, somebody would have reported me for that. All good, brother. This is all a part of the process, all a part of the journey. I wouldn't think too deeply about it personally. Um, you'll get your account back in uh, in no time. Uh, to be honest, because it, it it's not banned, right? It's just it's just suspended. So you you'll have the the main account back. Uh, you just got to be vigilant uh, with them. Make sure you're following up with them, messaging them, and they'll they'll give you your account back. Um, all just misunderstandings. Let's keep the show moving right along here. I want to go over to Gary Palmer Jr. Uh, Gary, thank you for waiting patiently with us. How you doing today, brother? <laughs> Man, I, I I'm just sitting in the background observing this show i don't know if we're going to heaven or hell or purgatory uh but this is cool i'm i'm actually just made some popcorn and uh for for once it's like it's great to see the fire and the chaos all around me and uh i, I don't think i started it this time so that's that's a improvement i suppose uh yeah i i have to agree with ns punks about you know basically um, all of that uh, with with his commentary uh, that he gave always gives great commentary with with your background punks. You know that, uh, except I would just add one slight tweak. And I would say that uh, it's not that everybody or anybody in this room could uh, get censored or canceled. I would just tweak it to say you will get censored. You will get canceled. And if you don't get censored, or if you don't get canceled, then I promise you. That is because you are self-censoring and you're not saying, you know, what you really think or what you really feel or, you know, or you're or you're really good at like following people that don't ever say controversial things um, because it's a crazy world out there and there's a lot of crazy things happening. And, you know, yeah, we, we gave a couple of examples like Bankless getting shut down and, you know, like it, it doesn't matter who you are, any YouTuber that says the wrong sentence on youtube about crypto or wrong sentence about politics or, or culture um they're gonna get shut down and sometimes we agree with that and sometimes we don't agree with that and i just come from this old school you know w mentality where i just feel like if if an ultimate power is able to or like a, a human ultimate power is able to you know rain down on somebody then for their beliefs or for what they think or for wrong think or for wrong speak, then it's only a matter of time before that gets turned around and, and used against, you know, you or something that you believe in. Right. And I don't, I don't get how enough people don't understand that, but Hey, you know, it's only a matter of time before you, per, you, proverbially you get your hand slapped and, you know, and then, you know, proverbially you recognize what's happening. It's, I think it's only five or 10% of PayPal owners, um, get their account shut down and you know there's 90 percent of paypal owners are like paypal is great and then like 10 percent of paypal owners are, are like no paypal's really really bad and you know until you touch the hot stove um you know it's 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 all fun and games to see you touch the hot stove or maybe you're just like shadow banned and you, and you don't you don't realize <clears throat> you know that your voice is diminished um and it's really hard it's really hard in this world you know, it's one thing not being able to make money. It's another thing in this world to be invisible. And 
Uh, places like Twitter are really important and we have to build things for people in the room. There's people are building things like lens protocol. Um, I wish lens protocol used ENS as a primary naming system uh, because they use lens, uh, although lens.xyz uses ENS and they be maybe making some developments. It may be interesting if you're a programmer to look into the, the um, lens.xyz or, or dot lens protocol. Uh, even, you know, we'll, we'll see, but just there's people working on different chat rooms. If we have a chat room system, it's not going to be ENS chat per se. It's going to be Web3 chat. And that Web3 chat is going to use ENS, right? And so, like, you know, Ether, Ether chat, you know, does that, for example. And there's other, like, ch you know, chats that uh, run on Web3 and have different levels of decentralization. Um, and, uh, and, and, yeah, they use ENS. And I'm pretty sure Ether chat just recently made you know peer-to-peer -peer and and encrypted although I, I haven't really looked into that so i really can't vouch for that technology uh yeah I, I actually wasn't gonna give a long talk or anything um i just wanted to give a shout out to drea and uh her most recent article on web3domains.com basic ens terms to know it's a beginner's guide for terminology really basic stuff if, if you know you, you know what's up you've probably seen a lot of these terms and if you know what's up, uh, you've been seeing these terms, you, you probably haven't really dived into them. So it's probably good for um, beginners. It's probably good for people that have been in here for a while to check those out. Uh, there's like a dozen people in this room who are um, I, I've reached out to and or reached out to me or one way or the other about being a writer. Yeah, you know, it's like I'm, I'm just going to keep on publishing articles until, until I run out of money. So uh, I, I really like what we're doing. And um, I'm not really promoting a, a lot of things right now. And I'm really excited about what's happening with Web3 Domains. I'm really excited to um, help tell stories um, for the builders that are happening and for the news that's happening so we can, you know, have a look back in time for for all these events and, and all these articles. Uh, it's, it's why I'm so excited about, like, this show and the ENS Update show. Because it's like all this uh, posterity, right, of all this information, all these people in these rooms, not just on Twitter spaces, but, you know, these getting published and syndicated, you know, through through other media, you know, we'll be able to look back on this and, and do research. And yeah, so so be a creator, be a builder, get off your ass, uh, stop being invisible, uh, start helping people, you know, start producing content. You know, seriously, I don't care how old you are. If you don't, if you, if you th ever wanted to, like, learn how to code or, or just be, just be a writer. You know what I mean? But, you know, we just need more people actively involved, actively participating, and uh, and getting shit done. Gary, thank you for um, um, saying that because <clears throat> what I heard was I got. I got suspended because I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> that's, 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 I'm getting too much engagement, I think is, is, is pretty much what's going on there. And maybe it is too much tagging, so on and so forth. And Ian S. Maxis, you know, I'm kidding with you. I don't blame you at all for this. And I love that trait and I, I, I love it. And I love the way it's spelled. And my King zombie, the one you're looking at right now has that trait. You, you don't see it over the crown cause it's a, it's a hair trait. But I have that trait, you know, under my crown. So I'm not blaming you at all. I just uh, I'm just going to continue to go on this account. And these are the people I love. As long as I can come in here and get my information, this is this is what I need. I need ENS Latino. I need ENS updates. I need my Friday night happy hour. I need my Shark Tank, right? Like that's all I need in my life as far as this goes. I can do this on this account. <laughs> so thank you guys so much, uh, Gary. I appreciate those words, bro. Well, that's a bomb for Drea, for Drea being a consistent community member, uh, making great threads and, and great articles. And that's a bomb for Gabby for sharing what Drea just did and uh, his wisdom of words he just provided for us as well. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is EMS Updates. We do this every Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is an open forum for the entire community. So any questions, comments, anxieties, frustrations, whatever it may be, uh, this is the place to let it out. This is the place to talk about it. If you want to talk about it, feel free to request on stage and we'll talk about it, right? Uh, I want to pass it over to my boy, Crypto Reporter. Crypto Reporter, welcome to ENS Updates, brother. Hey, hey, everybody. GM, GM, what's going on? 
We got Kevin in the building, Master in the building, NFT vs. Gary, Steve, Crypto Slam, ENS Maxis, Zero. What's going on, man? I got, we got to talk. We got to talk. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, come in, say, say, the, say the GMs, you know, kind of, kind of shoot it with. Uh, I, I, I love popping in here in, in the morning. I love popping in here and, and and getting the news, getting the feedback, getting everything that this this is honestly one of the bedrocks of the community, you know. And I'm I'm starting to realize that that there are certain people. You know, as we were talking, I'm starting to realize are really the bedrocks of this community. Kev, you're you're a bedrock. You're 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 part of like the the infrastructure. You know, this is this is the place where we all commune. You know, at one point, I think it was Belize that said that this is the the ENS church. <laughs> but yeah, uh, to the point where this is where we all get together and talk about the favorite subject. But um, but not just the uh, our subject. This is this. It's only because we know what is going coming down the pipeline that we we show up every day and pretty much be able to see that hey these are things that are that are going on in the community these are things that we should be looking at and I think that every time we come in here and we just say our piece it, the whole community it just it just grows so um, yeah, there's there's that that's my little intro for today but um, on to some other things. I'm not sure if you guys were um, able to see this yesterday. I think we kind of skimmed past it or skimmed through it, but it was actually on the Let Freeman podcast that I think it was Balaji. I think that's how you say his name. Um, was able to talk about for a brief second about ENS, you know, and talk about digital identity um, and digital property. It was very brief. I know, and the full interview I want to say is like eight hours only. I think only Lex Freeman would do like a full eight hour podcast. But um, I think that that was actually pretty interesting that now people like Lex know what a, you know, ENS domain is. And I think that there are going to be many more podcasts out there. Wink, wink. Um, just, you know, being able to talk about what this is and how important this to the community. Flex, I'm sorry you got, you got suspended, man. Uh, that, that has to suck, but it, it it shows the that at any moment, at any time, any government, corporation, or other outside entity can cancel you. I mean, you, you we are really starting to see that evolve, uh, especially in these these times. I mean, you're getting people who can you know, and uh, you know, hate hate to bring this up, but yeah, even you know, you could be the president of the United States and still you know get canceled at some point if they're like, hey. You know, you got to, you know, pull the plug and you can, you know, it, it's just showing that, you know, tech technology has a, um, it's a platform for a voice and that any moment it can really be taken away. I mean, you've seen it recently with Kanye. I mean, even JP Morgan debanking Kanye. That's just, mm-hmm. that says something that says it doesn't, you know, doesn't matter how much you're worth at the end of the day, you can still, you know, be canceled. You can still, you know. Your property and your voice can be taken at any time, at any time, and we th- we think that it's not going to happen to us until it does. And so I think that that we should really you know take that into account and really really dive into that. So if anything, just make sure that you you, you are aware that at any time you can be canceled, and so that's why we want to have digital property that no one else can really take away self-sovereignty you know um i think that that is a, it's an important concept that now we now finally in the you know, 20 21st century we we actually have the capability of and just just remember that um other thing uh, we t- kind of touched this on this last week as well which was the fact that you know, the, these domains are very scarce, you know, just the scarcity factor to the point where I can purchase at any time if I wanted to. Um, I could purchase more Bitcoin. It could be a dollar worth of Bitcoin, but it's still a purchase. I could purchase more Ethereum, but I can't go back. It, there's going to be very few times that people are going to be like, hey, do you want this ENS domain for cheap or like for $50 or something like that? These are these identities people plan on holding 
for a very long time. It's going to be very hard to try to separate people in the ENS space from their, you know, digital identity, from their, how do you say, you know, from something that they, they own. It's going to be very hard to convince them that, you know, that it's worth giving up their digital identity. So even though I can purchase more Ethereum, I can purchase more Bitcoin, there I may not get the same chance to get some of these grails for very cheap prices because they're planning on holding that. And you see some of the registrations, some of them are holding for planning on holding for 50 years. That's a long time. So, you know, if you see a grail or if you see something, I remember at one point I saw Winnie the Pooh and Roger Rabbit, Roger Rabbit on um, the expiry list. And I was like, ah, I should be able, you know, if I wait a couple of hours, maybe I can get it at a cheaper price. Uh, yeah, no, th that's not going to work this time around, guys. We were, we were starting to see people like, you know, Matt Higgins, things like that, Jeff, you know, Golden Bezos in the space. So, you know, hide your grails. Um, this is the last thing I'll, I'll say, and then I'll, I'm going to have to pass it, which is um, I'm going to be, thanks to people in the community, you know, thank you for everybody and allowing me to, you know, work in the inside the community, Gary, you know, master, um, even Sean Murray at one point, thanks to people like you guys, I will be actually doing a a podcast with um, entrepreneur.com and that will be tomorrow. So I'm trying to get prepared for that. Gary, we honestly might have to talk <laughs> um, just a little bit just so I can try to get prepared for that as best as I can, because I want, especially from the community, um, just insight or things that I, you know, you want me to touch on real briefly. It's going to be for, I want to say around 30 minutes. And then after that, then they're going to actually find a time to actually publish. So um, I want to really say, you know, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kev. Thank you, Kev. But honestly, it's 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 it was this community that really, you know, gave me a soundboard, a platform to be able to speak my piece in the first part, in the first place, you know, to be able to try to find different opportunities to collab with different people, to be able to write contact, to be able to work on designs, things of that nature. And and now I'll be able to do that podcast. And honestly, it's just going to be about ENS domains. Um, so if anything, I'm shouting, I'm shouting everybody out, shouting web3domains.com because Gary, Gary, is, he's a humble dude, but yeah, I'm shouting, I'm shouting out that I'm shouting out the ENS update show, the Friday night happy hour, um, just, and then everybody else in the community. Cause this is, this is that place. I'm telling you, we, we, we kind of take it for granted, but not anymore because, um, this is only going to get bigger. It's only going to get bigger. So thank you. Thank you guys. I'm going to step down from the soapbox, but I appreciate all, every one of y'all. Three bombs for Crypto Reporter for several reasons. One, shout out to you for being on that podcast. Please, uh, you know, definitely reach out to who you need to reach out. Get ready for it. And um, that's this is what adoption looks like. So shout out to you for that. Shout out for the alpha and the gems that you dropped. And before I pass it to punks, um, I wanted to point out a tweet that I seen yesterday um, by writer, writer Dadif, who said the ENS effect. Um, Telegram, Telegram is announcing that they're going to be auctioning uh, single clean word uh, domains or, or uh, their, their handles um, soon, like Game, Gift, Moon, Bank, Club. Um, they're going to be auctioning that off. And YouTube just announced as well that they're going to be doing do be doing handles as well. All this is coming after this entire ENS craze. All this is coming after ENS has gone parabolic and the world is beginning to wake up to this. So this is not by coincidence. This is not by coincidence, Telegram and YouTube. Out of, after all of these years, they've been alive. They've been running and operating businesses that now they want to decide that they want to auction names and, and do all these other things regarding uh, handles and things of that nature. Ladies and gentlemen, we are early and we are at the beginning of a worldwide revolution and if you're here right now, you are blessed, you are early, and you are going to make it, hopefully. Hopefully with, with a little uh, asterisk mark on the end of that. Let's go over to ENS Punks, and I want to hear from Cola Labs. Punks, welcome back to the stage, brother. Yo, GM Kev, uh, Master Verse holding it down again for Ron. 
And then uh, all the speakers, just a, a shout out to you guys in the community. And then a uh, special shout out, right, for the sponsors keeping the lights on. You know, we love the ENS update space and, uh, you know, we, we like the support for Kev, right? And uh, it's, it's for really the whole community. Um, yeah, I threw my hand up right there. Uh, Crypto Reporter. Uh, you know, he touched on something I already was uh, wanted to touch on. I had the tweet ready, so I missed one of these spaces last week, jumped in, had to re-listen, and uh, there was a talk about it. Crypto Reporter was going off, so, you know, it, it was um, it was about a book, right? It was about uh, uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and Crypto Reporter, like, expanded on it. It's a great book if you've never read it. There's, like, just the verbiage, the language. I mean, they're, you know the way it talks about like how to achieve your desires, you know, there's like specific language in there. It's like, you just got to be passionate and think about things. It's like a burning desire. And look, we're always registering names, right? Words, names. And I, I just got my first, um, my, my very first uh, single word. It's a dictionary word last week, etymology. And what is etymology? Well, it's, it, it relates to the history and the origin of words and language. You cannot minimize the importance of language and, and the way you speak, the way you carry yourself. And, you know, it's sort of like thought into speech, into action. So, yeah, burning desire, you know, pursue everything in your life with that kind of passion to manifest it, right? Uh, because there's something to that psychology, mindset, you know, people talk about it, vibes and all that positivity, and always stay positive, you know, don't let any negativity creep into you, any doubt, any worry, you know, just the way you speak. Um, so that's a great book. Anybody who hasn't read it. So coincidentally, he uh, also talked about this. I, I wasn't able to get to it throughout the week. It was a seven, eight hour podcast, Lex Friedman. Um, but, uh, you know, is Balaji. And so the funny thing is, I've talked about this too, right? Balaji wrote this book and it was a book that somebody from the community had recommended to me. So there's a number of books that I've been reading that the community has recommended to me. It's an amazing thing, right? Knowledge is power. Flexter says it all the time. But uh, this book is called The Network State. Balaji. Balaji is a former Coinbase CTO, so chief technological officer. Uh, but he's also the author of this book that was recommended to me. So it's called The Network State. And as a lawyer, you know, I, I studied international law, uh, you know, United Nations Charter. So a lot of that revolves specifically around the laws of war, but the, you know, the right of people, you know, human rights law and uh, self-sovereignty is part of that, but also, you know, the laws of nations. And this is all about this idea of erasing those invisible borders, creating a new type of state, nation state that is based on, you know, a community that is more or less what it is. So we talked about it earlier today. You know, this technology has enabled certain things that has never been possible in the past. And that's true. And it's going to affect every industry in particular. I always say it. I've got a legal bias. And this technology is helping wash away the legal bias from my eyes. And it is going to enable a new way to live, a new way to organize, and a new way to govern. And ENS DAO is one example of that. So it is powerful stuff. If you have not read The Network State, read it. If you have not read Think and Grow Rich, read it. Um, so the funny thing about The Network State, right? You know, look at Kev, 5159. We all know the digits. Well, where can you find the network state? It is free. It's freely available. Go to 1729.com. <laughs> you know, it's not a mistake. This stuff all works together. And uh, so, you know, I, let's just keep spreading the knowledge. Um, I do like all the community oriented stuff like, you know, Steven's doing his deal in Austin, making tickets freely available for anybody to rock, who owns or rocks a maxi uh, PFP. And then, um, you know, like what Flexter is going through. So another one of these things is as a community, we do go through issues. And I've personally gone through issues and, and received the support. Um, you know, Master touched on it a little bit, right? I have a trademark. I got that trademark using the ENS name. And then I took it to Unstoppable. And, uh, you know, they, they acknowledge my right to the domains, but they try to tax my ass. 
the community rallied behind me. It got me a meeting with Unstoppable Domains. And now I have all 10 of their extensions for my trademark. Now, it's important, right? Because I want to protect the brand. That was the whole point of doing that. So, you know, seeing somebody like Flexter go through some issues, maybe it's another thing we could, should do as a community is, uh, you know, hey, if there's issues that the community is going through, I, I keep saying this, you have no idea how powerful we are as a community, how strong we are, just numbers alone. And so, you know, anything uh, we could do, Flexter, let us know. Uh, but that goes for everybody, right? This idea of come up and talk, introduce yourself, tell us about your background, your skill sets. You know, this community needs you, we'll put you to work. But also, you know, if nothing else, it's just supporting one another. Um, and so a little bit of this gets to this idea of the network state. Like, I mean, that's basically what we are doing here. You know, as a community, we're going to sort of manifest ourselves into something much bigger, something much larger. And let's just call it what it is. It is a network state. You know, we are building like a country, uh, you know, a, a, an entire nation. And, you know, it is going to be global. It is going to be without borders. And it's, it's an amazing thing. So uh, keep sharing the knowledge and the power and, uh, you know, keep supporting each other. It's, it's, it's really an amazing thing. Definitely. I want to say a bomb for punks right there. I think that that was good, brother. And uh, as far as the, the reading, I think everybody, I think Think and Grow Rich, the book Think and Grow Rich is such a beginning level read that everybody should have read that book and i think it's something that probably um i believe should should be in every high school every high school at least in, in the states um or, or at least one type of course in there because it's it's a really good book it's a really good book um if you haven't read it i highly suggest you go and read it. it's like 10 bucks on amazon um so just go pick it up and, and or listen to the audio version so shout out to punks for that uh, let's go over to Cola Labs, and then I want to – we could circle back over to Crypto Reporter, then we have some other people on as well. Thank you, Kev. GM, GM, everyone. So this is JC. I'm the head of growth and marketing at Cola. So first thing first, I actually am reading the book – Ian S. Punk just mentioned, and it's such a good book, just highly recommended. Like, please, please go read the book. Okay. So, for a listener who don't know about us, Cola is a project built on ENS ecosystem, and we utilize artificial intelligence to generate music to your ENS domain name. So, it's called E2M, which stands for ENS2 Music. Just check our Twitter profile because our ambassadors start to post their E2Ms on Twitter so that you can basically visualize how this would look and sound and how this will translate your E2M to music and check our website. And the we our website is called cola.app, cola.app. So um, one thing I would like to emphasize is that our whitelist is now open. So you do need to have a referral code in order to get whitelisted. And the code is basically our ambassador's ENS domain name. So for example, for Kev, it's um, 5159. And I see Flexer here. Flexer is Flexer. And Yamo, his code is 65440. And also, let me just briefly explain what E2M is for Maxis who didn't come to last Wednesday's um, ENS update. So it's basically like having you and the AI design your ENS um, identity pass, which is totally audible. So you get to choose and um, pick and choose from a variety of music vibes created. So we have 10 genre 100 different vibes for you to choose. And then our algo maps your domain names, generate sound, and the back end will then automatically combine this with aesthetic AI generative art and mint this as a unique audible identity. So you can play with it. You can play your um, identity on OpenSea, display it in your um, wallet, and even link it back to your ENS domain page. So um, basically, we also encourage you to post it on Twitter with one click. Um, you can also download it, you know, download it and post it on Instagram. So um, I wrote, actually, I wrote a very lengthy uh, thread during weekend to explain some of the uh, techniques behind that. So just check it out. 
And I just want to say that we chose CNS as our first project because I truly believe the sense of community that ENS community um, deliver. And I also believe that domain identity is very crucial in Web3 world, just like Crypto Reporter says. Um, it's very hard for any Web3 native to sacrifice their digital identity, right? So that's something will last no matter it's bear market or bull market, right? Music never dies. Digital identity never dies. Builders got to build, right? So just check our website out and check our Twitter profile out. Thank you. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you, Cola Labs. Cola Labs is basically attaching music to your NF AI generated music to your ENS domains. Pretty cool stuff that they're building in the ENS ecosystem. Gotta love it. Uh, thank you, Cola. Let's go over to Crypto Reporter, and I want to hear from Mick Lovin. Hey again. Uh, sorry, I had to I had to jump in again with because uh, ENS Punk said something said something, and honestly, it that book, Kev, that book has kind of changed my life more ways. That book is partly the reason why I'm here. Um, to be honest with you, uh, so I read ended up reading it was Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and start you know really trying to go and find out you know different things trying to go the path that no one else was going and then that actually landed me in a uh, event called secret knock and it was through that event that i actually learned about you know web3 and ens domains but it was i wanted to share something because honestly kev this is this is partly 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 you're doing it was around this time that i was like okay maybe i should just you know, you know, gift it to them. So yeah, the Napoleon Hill Foundation, aka the people that create them, you know, the Napoleon Hill book and have that foundation. The head of the foundation is Greg Reed. Greg is also the the found um, the writer, the author of a book, uh, the story Three Feet from Gold, which talks about that one person who basically was three three feet from gold before giving up. But um, during like a series of discussions and you know things of that life life is funny so i was able to actually gift greg um his ens domain and it was actually in part of that that i'm able to actually speak next year at the same event that introduced me to ens in the beginning um i think that it, like i said this thing kind of goes full circle guys and i think that we are a group of people that are attracting different things and are track you know attracting this future that we see this um, and visualizing really what the future is 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 going to be, and but I just wanted to you know say that real quickly because I think it's all all awesome how it's coming full circle. It's that's how you know it's meant to be you know. But appreciate appreciate all y'all. I'm visualizing a future where all our bags pump to the moon. And we all hit 100 ETH cells. That's the future I'm visualizing here for everybody in this space right now. NFT verse, the stage is yours, brother. Yeah, I just wanted to, to comment on uh, Crypto Reporter, man. Uh, it, it's amazing how the universe works, right? Uh, you know, I can remember, you know, this is a walk down memory lane. A lot of stuff we're going to talk about when Thread Girl has her space, but this walk down memory lane, Kev, you'll remember this when Crypto Reporter was in the closet. You know, trying to jump in on spaces, listening on spaces, man. And entrepreneur.com needs to know about that story. You need to tell that story, Crypto Reporter, and tell them that, hey, I was so, you know, hyped up about ENS and all the things that it, it provides. I was actually in a closet, in a broom closet at work on a space listening in. I mean, to me, those are stories. <laughs> we don't talk about it. <laughs> Those are those are to me those are amazing stories, crypto reporter. Because look at where you come from. Look at how the universe has aligned things to put you in a position where you can now continue to um, advance uh, the understanding and the good the good news about ENS. Man, and things happen for a reason, and uh, you were placed. You were put in that closet for a reason. Uh, and now you're doing an interview with entrepreneur.com. That is amazing to me, man. I, man, great, great job. Continue to keep building, bro. Continue uh, to have uh, that that drive that you have to learn more, man, because that's what's positioned you 
in the place that you are now, man. I congratulate you, man, and I'm proud of you, bro. They will never know. They will never know about that story, man. This is <laughs> this stays in the ENS update show and, and sometimes on the Friday night happy hour. They don't need to know about that. <laughs> they don't need to know about that one. <laughs> love that, love that. Let's go over to Mick Lovin, and then we'll probably end this thing with Dr. Boo. Mick Lovin, welcome to ENS Updates. Yo, GM, GM, everyone. Uh, just wanted to take a second to... Uh, Second, Gary's point, I think censorship is something that is really important in today's age. And um, I appreciate each and every one of you guys up up on stage here educating. I'm, you know, I, I came up on stage a few weeks back and just said, you know, I'm, I'm new, uh, new to this space, two months in, learning about crypto, learning about ENS, and it's been a blessing ever since. But the more, the more I get educated the more it increases my conviction. And so, and also the more I get educated, the more, um, the more I'm starting to realize that everyone needs to start building. And so this week I, uh, I've been putting it off for a little bit of time now, guys, but, uh, I got Dylan, uh, uh, Satoshi's test account, um, heaven's tools, got one of those when it launched and, uh, screw it. I'm going to start building this week. And guess, and guess what? To give you guys hope, uh, know nothing about it. Nothing, nothing about building. So will it be humbling this week? Absolutely. Will it be fun and a learning experience? Absolutely. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, one other point and topic of conversation that has been on my mind the past few days, and I think it's just interesting to think about, maybe a question for the panel when normalization happens, what do you think and by normalization, let's say you, your mom, your family, you know, everybody has a crypto wallet and, and whatnot. When that happens, what do you think the majority of the population will choose? A decentralized platform or a centralized platform? Just been just been on my mind. Kinda wanna grab you guys' thoughts. Um, I'll, I'll grab that Kev. Um, and this is all, you know, these are all opinions, right? We don't know what's going to actually happen, but, and I've said this before on here too. And I think we've talked about this, that web two and web three have to run parallel for a while before a, a true transition, um, you know, can take place. Right. So, uh, there are certain things that are, that happen in web two, uh, that, that need to, um, uh, for people to have a certain level of trust uh, coming over. Like we've been here, we, we talk amongst the, uh, each other all the time in here. It, it's nothing new for us. We've taken the leap. We've taken the risk. We've been in here, we've lost, but everybody's not willing to lose stuff, right? So there's a trust factor that has to come into play before the masses start to come along. And the thing that they trust now is Web 2. So at the end of the day, Web 2 has to run parallel to Web 3 for that transition to take place, if, if that makes sense, Mick Lovin. Does that make sense? Does that help you out a little bit? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I appreciate it, NFT-verse. Yeah. Um, one thing, too, I wanted to touch on something uh, that you just said, too, is that you said that you were building. And I want people not, mm -hmm. to, uh, not to get confused of what that definition of building is so that people don't become uh, intimidated by that word. Cause sometimes people can easily get, become intimidated by building cause they think that's, it's just a technical build, right? You're thinking about a technical build, but there's other builders right. and other things that people can do in here to build just by spreading the word, having spaces, uh, posting, retweeting, uh, having conversations with family members or friends. And all of that is including in, in building. So I think that people just have to realize that you don't have to be this technical builder in order to be a builder, if that makes sense. That is a good point. <laughs> Thanks. Bombs for McLovin and bombs for Verse. That was a great uh, dialogue there, fellas. Appreciate that. Uh, we'll, NY718 and Dr. Boob, you guys are the last two, and we'll call this show a day. Hey, thanks, Kev. Um, you know what? I just wanted to touch on Flexer's situation, and I would probably 
um, side with it probably was just AI. A lot of these platforms are heavily ran by AI. It's impossible to police a community or a platform like Twitter where you get over a hundred million, however many people, probably a billion people. And and I say that like I, I'm a heavy seller on Amazon. I advertise on Facebook pretty heavy. And a lot of their stuff is is AI. You know, so yeah, the the term fuck boy um, it probably was a robot that just picked it up. There's trigger words that the robot will just pick it up. Now, your appeal may go through a human, but AI controls a lot of this stuff because it's just impossible for people to manage a platform that's so massive. So I just wanted to throw that out there, you know, um, and... If you're tagging a lot of people, yes, and you're moving too fast, it can interpret it. The AI can interpret you as a robot, bad actor robot. You know, a lot of bots are programmed to work within the system. So the AI can also get confused. I don't know how many times like my Amazon products, you know, would get flagged. I put up a new product. There's a one word that I use that the AI may call one of my products a pesticide where it has nothing to do with that it's just a word that the ai picked up on and then i have to do the same process and appeal it to have a person you know or call and have a person review and say oh okay that was a mistake you know um but that that was my take and thanks care for having me up thank you man i could take your reaching out <laughs> Cool, cool. Appreciate that. Appreciate the insight on the AI. Uh, Dr. Boob, Dr. Boob, you there with us, bro? Everything is fine. Thanks for bringing me up. And I want to um, take it short and don't want to squeeze it too long. Um, latest, I only want to jump on the train from NFT verse, like um, the parallels um, from BAP2 and BAP3, because right about now we are seeing it with Reddit. These guys maybe or 50 percent of them never knew that they have an um account or uh, like connected to a certain way to nfts so i think there won't be a hard cut in the future yeah there will be the day my sister will sit uh, next to me with her digital identity and maybe she doesn't know in this moment yeah so this will be a, a nice uh, wave of of new onboarding even if these guys don't really recognize what they are doing there because we are we was discussing about influences in in persons and in in this moment i was never recognizing that an influencer is of course a company too so they will influence them with no other choice to to this um rooms where we are sitting here right about now the only bad thing what could happen is like that we are sitting here in twitter and others are building huge stuff and then we are sitting here alone one day so right about now we have to think um that we are not getting stressed out but i think we are in the best position right about now with ens and twitter spaces so um everything is super fine and only last 10 seconds for really um crypto reporter this is a nice stuff i really sometimes get romantic like this guy was really hanging around here before half a year with us, yeah, normal discussions, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, I feel like a bird mother who let fly his, his little um, baby bird. <laughs> like, now you can fly, bro, and grow, grow, grow. And I would love to see every one of you getting a millionaire and the freedom of life. Yeah, thank you so much for bringing me up. Bomb for Dr. Boob. And before I end this show, I do uh, I much appreciate it, Dr. Boob. And I want to touch something you said right before we end this show is with this whole Reddit situation. This is what mass adoption looks like, right? Where it's so seamless that your mom, your auntie, your your brother, your sister is using the blockchain without even know, knowing that they're using blockchain technology. That's what mass adoption looks like, too. The, the, if you look at the two social media platforms that are most heavily involved with nfts right now it's twitter and reddit right and i i took a second to look at what what is the similarities between these two platforms and they're both primarily text-based platforms that's something is just something is just observation it's something to assess as compared to platforms like instagram 
or or Facebook or TikTok and YouTube. They're not as involved in Web3 yet, although they're trying to be involved in Web3. It just hasn't took off the way the text-based platforms like Twitter and Reddit has taken off. And so maybe we see a trend here, right? Maybe it starts with text, and then we go into the next phase of um, other social media platforms. So let's keep that in mind. This is something I'm going to continue to absorb, ab- observe over time. I think this was a phenomenal episode. I want to give a huge shout-out to our sponsors, ENS Maxis and Crypto Slam. They're both on stage of um with us. Give us give them a follow and also shout out to Domain Plug. Domain Plug is launching their NFT, their ENS marketplace later on this week. Thank you to the co-hosts. Thank you to the speakers. Thank you to the listeners. This was a great episode. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for Tequila Tuesdays. With that being said, 5159 is out. Peace out, y'all. Oh, and give and give us a follow too. If you're not following us, shame on you. Give us a follow. Give the speakers and co-hosts um, a follow as well. Peace.